My people, my people. What is up? Oh, it just got dark on us. Hold on. And yes, I forgot to wash my face. <laughs> people ask me about my skincare techniques. This is not it. Uh, y'all, so I just wanted to come and share to y'all. This probably will be my last vlog before I skip out and go to Ghana for the holidays, which I have seven days. And I just wanna tell you guys, I'm in crisis mode right now. Don't, the demeanor should not fool you. In my head, I'm going crazy because, like I was sharing with y'all, um, I am trying to move, um, and I wanna be moved, actually, in the next two days. My moves were supposed to come today to move of the furniture, but they canceled on me. They said they're gonna come tomorrow, so I don't even know how this is gonna work. Yeah, it's so real. Like, don't even judge. Like, I'm trying to get out of here. I'm so over living in this condo and living in this ridiculous ass mess. And um, my goal today, even though they couldn't come today, is to finish out, finish getting um, clothes out of one closet. I want to empty one closet today and put that stuff into my car. At <clears throat> the same time, I'm trying to work as well. Multitasking while I, I finished up some trainings and some emails and stuff like that. And so I think I'm going to go after this closet um, today that I worked so hard to color coordinate and organize and choose and all of that makes this even more crazy is I guess I'm trying to do everything at once is that like I said next week I'm going to Ghana right so I'm trying to pack I'm trying to pack too so I just feel like it's a lot but we're gonna take it bit by pieces I got to get up out of here y'all don't even know I'm ready to close this chapter like so over it all right talk to you all soon Y'all will not believe what happened to me last night. My car broke down on me in the middle of a major highway. Well, not in the middle. I was able to get on the shoulder, but it was just nuts and um, real crazy in terms of timing. I have exactly one week before I'm out of here. I already told y'all how I'm moving and if I look crusty and disgusting, it is because I am. I had to be so thankful that my sister was near. I was near my sister's house for, where she could pick me up. But I mean, I, I talked about being another level of being complex and complexity in your life. Um, I really needed to move too. Um, you guys can't even see. I know it looks like dirty condo tour, but we have moved some stuff. There goes my TV, use some random trinkets. Um, the bedroom is here. Um, stuff is missing from here. All that's like all my clothes. I emptied out all my closets yesterday. Except for that ski leaf from my soul world. Um, your girl was just, your girl was just feeling like Murphy's Law. <laughs> but I'm happy to say that majority of my big items are being moved right now. I'm I'm healthy. Um, my car will be fixed today, so um, in about 24 hours, I will have that behind me, and then um, I'll be closer and closer to leaving next week with having a peace of mind. So, talk to you guys soon. I just had to come in and let y'all know. Pray for me. Pray for stability. <laughs> I'm feeling a ton better about life right now. Um, 
feel like I'm clearing out my like packing and stuff like that. I feel like I'm ready for the next step. I mean, I keep telling y'all something is really conspiring with the car, with the move, with me going to Ghana next week. I have some business ideas with me wanting to see more Africa and I have like a layover in Casablanca. Um, I'm going to Tanzania. Like everything I asked for is really coming to fruition. And those things that I asked for that haven't, I, I know there's a reason why it ain't going down like that. So I'm feeling really, really good. Y'all be having moments like that. Like I've been really, I, maybe this is finally the ability to like live in the moment and see what is going on and, and really feel it. And I've been really appreciating it. But yeah, I think I told you my car broke down and I'm sad and happy. Um, the plan with the car was to ship it to Ghana because I plan to go there frequently um, and hopefully I'll cover some more there. Like I wanna really have a home out there. I wanna see what businesses I can get started out there. I just, I just wanna kinda expand and then mainly I wanna be able to start um, like a STEM, a STEM academy for young girls in GH. So there's some things I got cooking, you know, on this side of my brain that this trip is gonna really like help solidify like my next three year strategy with Ghana. Sorry, I'm probably holding. I don't know, somebody just called me, yeah. Uh, regarding my car. So the plan was to ship it and like I said, I'm trying to get the STEM and I'm trying to get a three year plan a 2020 <laughs> plan for what I'm trying to do abroad because I'm really trying to build this lifestyle where I'm a world citizen. Like the wor world is your oyster. On top of that, um, and I'm really excited to close out this stage with my condo. Like, oh, I feel like a weight has been lifted off of me and um, I feel like, um, It's just the right decision to make. To close this chapter has been a good, solid, you know, investment. Brought it nine years ago. I'm going to be able to make a profit, um, you know, God willing. And hopefully it sells fast. I'm really not trying to be dealing with this into February um, if I don't have to. So, yeah, on that. Um, but I think, yeah, I'm getting close to living in the moment. Um... I haven't been on my regimen lately. I've been all over the place, mainly because I've been moving. And we know how that I can all can be very overwhelming, but I'm feeling good now that I've moved like the majority of my furniture and the rest of the furniture um, for staging. And then my, um, my guy's gonna come and paint. So tomorrow morning, I'm gonna grab my, after I pick up my car, which is fixed, um, I'm gonna go, you know, grab some paint. And what's crazy is I really just needed my car to last like another week. <laughs> so it's interesting that this happened, but the way I'm looking at it is, is that I, was, I planned to ship it to Ghana. Like I, it lasted 11 years. So making these investments in terms of um, battery and alternator and all that, like hopefully I get another 11 years out of it. And um, it just kind of pushed me to be like, to get on that in the new year. So. That's what we do. We're going to have to get on it. <sighs> Hopefully this is the last time I'm in here. <sighs> Moving out of here. Grabbing the last of my things. Where's my first home that I purchased? <sighs> we are out of here.
goodbye to this jet tub that was also used but twice. Whew. Almost. Almost. I am on my way to the night. Straight. Oh, I do. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Follow to R Street. R Street. R Street? Mm-hmm. I'm on my way to closing on my condo. And... I'm on my way to close on my condo. So saying bye to my second property. Ready. Treated myself today to something new.